Norma, for me, is a woman with a dual personality. We have the one half of Norma, the very personal life, that has two children that she loves very much, and a Roman husband who no one knows about. This is this part of her that no one ever sees, including her father. And then we have the very public Norma, the Druid priestess, who is the leader of all the Druids, and they all look up to her for guidance. She's such a rich character, and she has so many emotions, and anger, and sadness, and happiness, and love. Visually, we've tried to find um, a world which is true to history. They worshipped in forests, they worshipped in groves. We, we've tried to stay true to that. And that, I think, is intrinsic to the story of Norma herself, intrinsic to her tragedy. And I think her immolation at the end is a kind of return to the earth. So as well as being deeply tragic, it's also incredibly noble and an incredibly liberating thing for Norma to do at the end of the opera. I think Norma is one of the most monumental operas in the opera repertoire. First and foremost because of the glorious, beautiful bel canto music by Bellini. And then to come and hear the wonderful singers. I mean, we have Joyce Di Donato playing Otto Giza, Joseph Kaleha playing my lover, Polione. I think it's going to be a great combination and all of us together, I think it's going to be magical.